In the following genome demonstration, we'll create a noise modifier along the SIGGO axis. We have a plane in the scene which has 400 by 400 segments and some pre-assigned genome modifiers. The first modifier creates a noise along the Z axis or along the normal, but in this case they are the same. We can change the scale to create lower or higher frequency noise on the plane. We can go even lower. But let's keep it around 80 as it was in the beginning. And uh, we can also change the strength. This is the amount of displacement applied along this selected axis. We can take a look. We have a position being output as a position. And to this position, we are adding either the normal or the Z axis of the object using also a noise function to modulate. We have a second modifier on the stack, which is exactly the same, but has different input values for strength and scale. And we can change the strength, increase the amount of displacement along the selected axis, or change the scale. We can go even lower for example, a value of 2 is very high frequency noise. A value of 1 gives us a very spiky looking appearance. And if we change the axis to along the normal, we are using the normals coming up the stack from the previous modifier. So now we are pushing in the space of the first genome modifier. Let's increase the number of vertices and faces. We'll have 1 million vertices to push. And uh, we can go to the top modifier and set the scale again to 1 to create that fuzzy appearance on the surface. Let's create another object, a geosphere with 32 segments and clone the existing modifiers on the new object. We'll drag an instance of the first genome modifier. This will displace currently along the Z. We can switch it along the normals. And this will push along the geospheres normals. We can change the strength a little bit to be lower. And we can, of course, grab the second genome modifier and also instance it on the geosphere. This will give us the spikes that we saw before. But since it doesn't have enough vertices, it looks a little bit rough. So let's go and increase the number of segments to 64. And that refines the result of the high frequency noise on the mesh. Let's tweak the appearance again, with strength of 60. We have two fuzzy objects now.